a primary care physician should be someone who is part of your life and you are potentially staying here for four years, potentially five years for some of you. Um, and I think that health and wellness is important and maintaining health and wellness will promote your academic success and that's really ultimately what we want. I think the most pressing issues for students and young adults are being on their own for the first time, missing home, um, so that's a, whole, a true component of homesickness, right? Um, um, keeping up with vaccinations, um, using condoms for barrier protection for sexual health um, or abstinence, um, and not letting things go too long, meaning if you have a cough that's greater than a week, you probably should seek some medical attention um, for any complaint that is sort of lasting longer than you might anticipate or that it's never happened to you before. Um, so not waiting too long, asking for help sooner, um, and that could be a mental health as well um, issue. So not waiting too long before you feel so down and out or so homesick before you ask for help. And really that's what we're there for. To, and if we can't help you, we can get you to someone who can help you. I think it will, number one, cut down on I can't find a primary care doctor in the area. I think it will cut down on I can't see a primary care doctor in, for six months because we're right there and you have access. Um, and you have access for your dependents as well. So I feel like just based on location, um, ease of access, um, that it's accessible to you, staff and faculty, um, and I think that um, many people don't have a primary care doctor and they're just simply not getting the usual preventative care that they should be getting, whether that's a colonoscopy at 40 years old, is not 50 years old anymore, guys. Um, there are certain preventative mammograms, pap smears, things that we're looking for to keep you living longer by um, catching things earlier um, and making them curable right? Mm -hmm. um, so it's just a matter of, in my mind, having access and then access not only to primary care but to those specialists for referrals. Having the backing of a, a larger health, health system um, like Conway Medical Center really will help student health providers and nurses get you to that next level of care if needed. Um, whether that's emergency care, whether that's specialty care, um, you know, it's something that now that you're part of a bigger family, you can access those specialists in perhaps a timely fashion compared to waiting longer or um, simply not knowing where the next step is, right? So just again, being the advocate to help a student navigate through the medical system, it's often new to them and they are often doing it for the first times by themselves. So um, not having mom, dad, guardian, helping them navigate through, even making an appointment, all those things tend to create anxiety. But I think once we, you see that we have the clinic set up, it's going to help you understand that we can get you to that cardiologist, we can get you to that specialist um, that you feel you need once we do our initial workup. And in primary care, that's what we do. We take care of your primary care needs, whether it's immunizations getting caught up, whether it's um, new diagnoses, whether it's treatment of your asthma that's flared because you've moved to the south, um, whatever it may be, um, it's, it'll be nice to be backed up by a healthcare system locally. So I think the most common health visits we have at the clinic besides anxiety and depression um, from a mental health standpoint, um, we have strep, throat, mono, um, everything from COVID and influenza, um, and of course our sexually transmitted infections, which include gonorrhea and chlamydia. Very high um, rates of infection um, in this part of the country, and um, again, condom used for barrier protection for all sexual encounters 
is imperative to prevent um, that or reducing your number of partners. We also tend to see, um, you know, students dabbling in their first bouts of alcohol use and um, other substances and it's a great time to experiment with things but maybe not so much anymore for drug use um, which can become dangerous um, in this age group um, simply because of the opioid um, epidemic that is ongoing in our nation. So.